Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. After my last hair tutorial where I did a very spiky look, I had a request to do a tutorial with no spikes at all. And I said, this is gonna be a challenge, but let's see if I can do it. So starting off with towel dried hair, I'm then going to just comb it through. And as you can see, my hair is just crazy. It's not a real heavy, I don't have real heavy hair, so it doesn't just lay down naturally. I also have lots of just weird little waves and curls, so sometimes it's harder to wear it straight than spiky, but we're gonna try. So I'm gonna I'm first go in with the Wella Root Shoot. You can also use the Catwalk Root Boost, just use a little less of that. So I'm going to use this in the palm of my hand, and I'm just gonna use a little bit right here at the crown, even though I'm not spiking it, I still want some fullness there. And then I'm also going to add a little bit here through the front, because again, I want fullness. And then I'll put what's left through the back here. And this also, in addition to giving a little extra body, it also just kind of helps as you're blow drying to give it a little extra hold. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with my Acure Argon Oil and just one pump, I think, of that. And I'm going to apply most of this here and then all through the hair. And as you can see, I'm flattening down the hair, trying to get it trained to go the direction it needs to go today. And I haven't decided if I'm going to wear it on the side that it is cut to go or the opposite side. So sometimes I wait until I've blow dried it to decide that. So let's go ahead and get started blow drying my hair. I think I'm gonna go the direction that it's cut to go, but I just wanna show you what we've ended up with. I did a pretty good job of keeping this back part a little bit flat, but you saw as I was using that airflow concentrator and just really shooting it here at the roots and then combing that hair down, it gave me a lot of lift. I did the same thing here. So I've already got quite a lot of body working here, so that's a good thing. Um, now I'm just gonna take my flat iron and again I'm using the one from Jeanri. I've really been enjoying this and I'm going to now just flatten the sides a little bit. So I've got to be careful that I don't add curl but kind of more just 
I want a little more of kind of a piecey texture right here. Now my hair is, I am just days away from my next haircut. So this is kind of at my longer point of my, in my hair month between cuts. So that's just going to give you an idea that you can still do this look even if your hair is a little longer and actually it'll probably make it easier for the top part here because it's going to lay down a little easier. All right, so in here over the ear, I'm probably going to end up tucking this anyway, but I am going to just kind of flatten that out. This is laying pretty well here. Um, this side, again, just going to flatten. And as I'm flattening, I'm kind of pulling towards the face. And with this top part, um, usually I need to do a little straightening right here because I have a little curl, but at the moment it doesn't look too bad. We'll do just a tiny little touch through there. And I think that's it. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with, of course, the Enjoy Dry Wax. And when I wear my hair flat, you know I don't use as much as I do when I wear it spiky. But I still love this product even for kind of flatter, straighter hair. So I don't know if you can tell how much I've got right there on my hands. And our weather has been warm lately. So this wax is nice and warm, easy to work with right now. So. My habit is, of course, normally to go like this. Instead, I'm gonna go side to side through the back like this, and then take a little more product on the tips of my fingers, and I'm really going to scrub it here in the front. And I'm kind of going for a little more of a tousled look, I think. We'll see. <laughs> So again, just scrubbing that into the roots and going to be careful not to spike this. You could easily spike the top, but I'm going to try. <laughs> try very hard. Keep it all flat here. And then I'm going to just kind of, and you can see how deep of a part I have at the moment. So we're going to use that here, give us a real swept look here in the front. And I'm just kind of pulling the hairs down right here, but by pulling that wax through the back, you can see it just gave extra texture back there and makes it look a little fuller like you have more hair back there so if you have thin fine hair that's a little trick to make it look a little fuller and I'm just going to pull out this is that section on my head that is very flat it's like this so I'm just gonna kind of pull that section out all right and then here on the sides I'm going to work this a little bit behind the ears I think Okay, I think what I'm gonna do this time is actually tuck this entire piece here. And just something different, you know. <laughs> and then again, just kind of making sure I've got a good start to the look of texture here. And then on this side, I think I'm going to keep this down. And we're going to kind of keep this kind of going down at an angle like this. And now I'm going to just add some hairspray. So of course, using the Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray, I am going to protect my eyes and my face, of course. And as I spray, 
any areas that I see that have a tendency to want to spring back up, I'm just going to kind of gently put them in their place here. And then through the back, all I'm doing is kind of taking my hand and doing this to just kind of keep that little look of some texture back there. I know some of you have it shaved back here and that's fine. That makes this part easier, but I just kind of like the look of a little extra texture. And then, okay, and then over here, I kind of did the same thing through the back. And now here, I'm just going to give a good couple sprays and then um, piece this side right here into place. And let's see. I have part of that tucked behind my ear and the other part is just framing my face right there. And then I'll just take a couple little extra sprays right here at the top and the front. Okay, so here is our final look. What I always find is a challenge for myself when I don't put any spikiness in my cut, I'm always trying to figure out how to still give it that little bit of an edge. And I think by doing that really deep part here and the swept bangs with a lot of texture, kind of piecing it here around the face, I think I achieved my goal. So I hope that those of you who requested this enjoyed this tutorial. If you have a similar cut to mine, whether it's spiky or more like this, hopefully it gave you some inspiration of maybe some new tricks to try with your haircut. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.